All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go back with another lesson, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Next double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sisters. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. You know what it is, regardless of people here for a bit. It's basically just going into a lesson on just speaking the truth, man. The prophets of the Lord are going to be speaking the truth. No, no matter what, no matter if the whole world hates them, no matter what's going on, we're going to hop right into it because you got these, it's, a, it's Israel. Then you got a whole lot of false pastors out there, a whole lot of false prophets out there. You know, the scriptures tell us a little leaven, leaven if the whole lump. Now, a guy, you know what I'm saying, that you father could be speaking the truth, could be going hard for the truth, week in and week out. On fire, sparks is coming out of his tail. But then he throws a little bit of lie in all that truth that he was teaching. Guess what? It's not the truth anymore. Do you not know that, Israel? A guy could be speaking the truth for hundreds and hundreds of years. But as soon as he throw a little lie in there, uh, whether it's big or little, whether it's small, it ain't the truth no more. A little leaven, leaven at the whole lump. Let's hop into it, though. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 13. The remnant, the elect, the small number of Israel, a people before us a place, shall not do iniquity. They're not going to be out there committing wicked acts. You know? No speak lies. The remnant, aka the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, look, they're not going to speak lies. No, look, no, they're not. Because we already know no lie is of the truth, Israel. No lie is of the truth. The remnant, the elect of the nation of Israel, they're not going to speak in lies. See, you have Bashimel Shah is drawing a line in the sand. He's letting you know that small remnant, his chosen, out of the chosen, will not be speaking lies. They're not going to add to the Bible, and they most definitely are not going to take away. As the scriptures say, war is coming, they're going to let you know war is coming. All right? If the scriptures tell you tribulation is coming, then look, that small remnant is going to let you know the tribulation is coming, right? If the scriptures say that we should worship the names of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, then that's what the remnant are going to tell you. No speak of lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. And I looked up the word for deceitful. It's an adjective. It says that remnant is going to be speaking the truth. They're not going to speak in lies, right? Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, right? Deceitful. It's an adjective. Guilty of or involving deceit. Deceiving or misleading others. Look, that remnant. The elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing, we're part of that number. We're not going to deceive anyone. They're not going to deceive anyone. See, Yahweh Bashem El is making it plain upon tables who he's dealing with. He said his servants, his prophets are not going to be speaking deceit, man. They're not going to be misleading others. Now, 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 can you say that about some of these other groups out here? They're most definitely misleading. The people leading them right to the slaughter. Dishonest. That remnant, the elect of the nation of Israel, the prophets, are not going to be dishonest. They're not going to be lying. These are some of the definitions for deceitful. False. Deceiving. Untrustworthy. Look, two-faced. These are all descriptions of a deceiver, of a deceitful man, right? Double dealing, two faced, underhanded, crafty, cunning, guileful, scheming. A whole lot of faces, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of names come to my mind right now. Tricky, sneaky, look foxy, crooked. So the prophets out there that are Teaching with a deceitful tongue are crooks, man. The crooks, the shady, slippery, look, slime balls. You know? 
fabricated, made up, fake. Look, 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 a definition for the word deceitful, a person that's deceitful. Look, they're fake. Okay? Deceptive, misleading. Look, the opposite of speaking the truth, the opposite of being honest is deceitful. You're not going to find that with the elect of the nation of Israel, right? For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. The point to this lesson is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is setting up men, and he's making it clear. He Look, if he have given you the eyes to see and ears to hear, you should, just, you should see clearly. Who Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh is dealing with. I mean, I mean it, it, it shouldn't be no doubt. It's the, look, starting off with the head apostles of great millstone and the elders, man. You know the Lord is dealing with them because there's no deceitful tongue in their mouth. They're not speaking lies, they're speaking the truth. Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, according to my mind, which shall feed you. With knowledge and understanding. And look, that's what the God of the Bible is going to do. And that's what he's doing now. It ain't like some guy's going to come up out of a rock or out of a cave and then start teaching the truth. No, the men that the God of the Bible set up, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai set up, look, they're on the earth right now. I mean, and if you don't know who they are right about now, look, man, you better do some serious soul searching. Because the scripture said, look, they're not going to be liars. You know, they're not going to make nothing up. No false accus accusations, accusations, you know, just straight up fake. The remnant is not going to be like that, right? Say those false prophets got a deceitful tongue. They're real slippery. You know, they're crooked, you know, tricky. A whole lot of not, a whole lot of faces and names popping in my head right about now. Exodus chapter 18, verse 21. Moreover, thou shalt provide out of all the people. Able men, such as fear, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushak. Look, it starts off with fear. If you fear the God of the Bible, you most definitely ain't gonna be speaking no lies. Look, you most definitely are not gonna have a deceitful tongue. You're not gonna be crooked. You're not gonna be misleading the people down the wrong path. If the scriptures say war is coming, do you speak war is coming? All right? Men of truth. This small remnant is going to be speaking the truth, right? Men of truth, hating covetousness, and place such over them. Look, that's what you see going on throughout the four corners of the earth. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Look, he's putting his men that fear him. Men of truth, that fear the God of the Bible, they're going to hate covetousness, and place such over them to be rulers of thousands and rulers of hundreds, rulers of fifties and rulers of ten. And look, that's exactly what you see going on. Well, that that's what we see going on. I mean, we can't we can't speak for everybody, but this is what if you got any sense in your head, man, you should see the scripture come into play. The men of the Lord are not gonna be covetous. First and foremost, they're gonna fear your how by Shim Yahweh Shai. They're not gonna be covetous. And the word covetous is meaning, look, when a person's covetous, that means whatever you got, they want it. No matter what it is, whether it's a house, a car, a woman, your money, your position, the men of the Lord are not going to be like that, right? And look, and Yahweh Bahashim Yahushua is going to establish them on the face of the earth. And you're going to know who they are. It says my, um, the prophets are not going to be hid in the corner anymore. Matter of fact, I get that right quick. Let's get that right quick. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, if he give you this, the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Because you remember, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai said he blinded the multitude from knowing what's going on, right? It is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, right? And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. Because evidently you was going down the wrong path. So the men of the Lord, that small remnant, are going to tell you, look, this is the way. The way that you was going is not the correct way. This is the way. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh is the way, right? 
This is the way. Walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand, and when you turn to the left, and Lord Yahweh came right back and said in John, the 14th chapter, I am the way. So let's get that just to prove, just to back that up. What I just read, just to back that up. This is St. John, chapter 14. Let's see. Six. And Yahweh said unto him, I am the way. So the prophets of the Lord, if you're going the wrong way, they're going to tell you, if you're following out the Buddha, Setem Maria, the Hindu goddess Shiva, you know, and all these different pagan gods and idols, the Kemet gods and all that, JC included, the prophets of the Lord are going to say, look, what, well, look, what are the, what are the prophets of the Lord going to say? Let me go back to Isaiah. What are the prophets of the Lord going to say? Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21, and thine eyes shall hear a word behind thee saying, this is the way. Because evidently you is going the wrong way, all right? They're not going to keep deceiving you, telling you, oh, yeah, you're going the right way where they see, you know what I'm saying, destruction at the end of that path. Nah. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, so let's get St. John one more time. St. John chapter 14, verse 6. Yahweh Shai said unto, unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And, and that's what the men of the Lord are going to tell you. They're going to tell you everything according to the Bible. See, one thing about it, truth shall remain. Uh, see, that's one thing about these false prophets. They, they, didn't, they don't even know. They can't even get the basics of the whole deal, man. They can't even understand that truth is going to remain, not lies. They're still speaking lies. 2020. All hell breaking loose, and those false prophets still speaking lies like it's going to get you somewhere. They ain't going to get you nowhere. Lies ain't never got nobody nowhere except for destroyed. No lies of the truth. We're going to get that next. Let's get this, though. St. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So that small remnant, the elect of the nation of Israel, the prophets, they're going to be speaking the truth. And, look, and that's what's going to set you free, not lies. Lies ain't never set nobody free, man. Telling the people ain't no ain't no tribulation, you know. The market of the beast is sleeping with a white woman and all this other night. Just can just add anytime you tell a lie, you had to tell another lie to cover that lie. Should should have known that growing up though. You know. Second Corinthians chapter thirteen. Verse eight. And it reads, For we can do nothing against the truth. But for the truth. You can't do nothing against the truth. Yeah, you had a whole lot of people coming up against the truth. But they still, they, everything they're doing is for the truth. They, they don't know. You had the no class Malones and the, you know, the Cherry Loves and the Jada Producers and all, all that other madness. But you can't stop this truth. The men of the Lord are going to be speaking the truth. They're not going to have a deceitful tongue in their mouth. 1 John chapter 2, verse 21. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Like I was mentioning at the beginning of this video, a guy could be teaching the truth for a hundred years, but as soon as he throw that lie in there, it ain't the truth no more. Just remember, Israel, if you don't remember nothing else, just remember. If a guy been speaking the truth long as you've known him, and then all of a sudden he throw a line there, it ain't the truth no more, okay? Once again, First John chapter 2, verse 21. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. So when you see guys walking around with deceitful tongues, Ain't no truth in them. The scripture tells us if they speak not according to this word, it's because ain't no light in them. What? Ain't no truth in them, man. But once again, the deceiver and deceiver are here. So, hey, look, if you end up going down that path of death and destruction, the Lord wants you to go down that path. You know, you go right back to Ezekiel, the 14th chapter. If, if that prophet has spoken, if that prophet be deceived when he has spoken a thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that man. Matter of fact, I get that next. This is Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. 
if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And now you're starting to see. Now you're starting to see that there is no light in these false prophets whatsoever, man. None at all. This is Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 9. And if the prophet be deceived, when he has spoken a thing, he had, he had a deceitful tongue, right? He's just speaking lies, right? You know, he's a crook. <laughs> oh, man. Look, he's a hypocrite. A guy that has a deceitful tongue, he's a hypocrite. He's an actor, right? He's a phony. He's shifty, slippery, shady, fabricated, deceiving, untruthful, dishonest. What did the scripture say again? Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 9. And if the prophet be deceived, when he have spoken a thing, I, the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, have deceived that prophet. And the scripture just said in Zephaniah 3 and 13, that that small remnant are not going to do iniquity, nor speak lies. The scripture tell you uh, a lying tongue is but for a moment. A guy walking around lying all the time, he's only going to last but a little time, but so long. You know, it says, I have deceived that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand upon him. <clears throat> and I will destroy him from, from the midst of my people Israel. So that lets you know right there, it's talking about the so-called leaders the speaking lies to the children of Israel that's deceiving the people. Okay? That deceitful tongue will get you in a whole lot of trouble. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. Because with that small remnant, they shall do no iniquity, right? The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. So you got these false prophets, they got a big large following. They got a big giant congregation. You following after that guy with that deceitful tongue? Deciding they're speaking lies? What did the scripture say? And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. So look, you out there following those false prophets? When they get judged, you're going to receive judgment right along with them. That the house of Israel may go no more astray from me. They're speaking lies, man. They're turning our people away from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh And look, you think they don't know that? Yeah, they know it. And if they don't know it, they're being deceived. The Lord said the deceiver and the deceiver. Now here is the Lord said, I deceived that prophet. If you got a prophet out there, he's speaking lies, a false prophet. The Lord said, I deceived that man. And I wanted the people that he deceived to get deceived. You know, the deceived and the deceiver are his, right? And the house of Israel shall go no more astray from me. Neither be polluted any more with their transgressions. But they sh but that they may be my people, and that I may be their power, said the Lord, Yahweh by Shinao Shah. And that's being established as I make this video. If you're too blind to see it, then I don't know what to tell you, but it's being established right now as I speak. Yes, it is. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 16. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. And then the scripture say that remnant gonna do that. It ain't going to be no guile in their mouth. They're not going to have a deceitful tongue. These are the things that ye shall do. The leaders of the nation of Israel speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And you know the gate represents the leaders. See one thing about it. The leaders of the nation of Israel. They're going to speak the truth. No matter what. See, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is looking for the true worshipers anyway. You know? Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is looking for those true worshipers. True, true shall remain. I, I want to I get that right quick. I'm, I'm about to close it. I want to I read this first, though. This is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 19. The lip of truth shall be established forever. The men is teaching the truth according to the Bible. They're going to be established forever, man. All right? But a lying tongue, a deceitful tongue, a man that speaks lies, is but for a moment. Okay? 
But our people trust in lying words. Our people, that's all they want to hear is lying words anyway. That's why they go to these false prophets. That's why they up in them church buildings. Because they love lies. They tell you that in Isaiah the 30th chapter, verse 9 and 10. You can read that. Our people love lies. But I want to read this again. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 19. The lip of truth that, that the remnant of Israel is going to be speaking shall be established forever. But a lying tongue is but for a moment. So, so how you like them? How you like that? Let's get this. Proverbs 12 and 22. Lying lips are an abomination. An abomination is a wicked 50 act, right? Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But they that deal truly are his delight. So that small remnant is speaking the truth according to the Bible. The Lord delights in that. The Lord delights in his men teaching the truth. Not lies. Come on now. Come on now. Psalms 122. Deliver my soul, O Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. From lying lips. From that deceitful tongue. Deliver us, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. From that lying tongue. And from a deceitful tongue, man. From lying lips, man. Deliver us, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Lying lips is but for a moment. You know? Proverbs 13 and 5. A righteous man hateth lying. But a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. So all you Israelites out there is teaching lies. You know, you're going to be put to shame soon, come. You know, Psalms 31 and 18. Let the lying lips be put to silence. So soon come that you have a bunch of shot gonna shut your mouth. We speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. And you see that happening, man. All kind of people are coming up against the men of the Lord that are just speaking the truth according to the Bible. You know. The Lord said, let lying lips be put to silence. All the lies, all the slanders that they have, you no know saying, put on the men of the Lord, inside that just teaching the truth according to the Bible, are going to be put to silence soon come. And that's a wonderful thing to know, that the Lord is going to finally shut your big lips, man. He going to shut it. He going to shut it, man. You know, ain't, ain't that going to be a beautiful thing, Israel? Yes, it is. But look, we got a whole lot of enemies because we're teaching the truth. Now, ain't that something? Ain't that something? Teaching the truth. Got all the enemies, man. I got two more, then I'm going to wrap it up. You know, we tell our people the truth, they don't believe it, but let a guy come up lying. You did false probably just come out the cut, lying his ass off. Look, everybody going to love him to death. All right. All right. Second Ezra chapter 7, verse 34. But judgment only shall remain. Truth shall stand. Not lies. Truth shall stand. And faith shall wax strong, and you see that. Faith is waxing strong. This truth is getting, it's getting out there, man. This truth is starting to grow. Like a mustard seed, which is small when it starts off, but then it becomes one of the biggest trees known to mankind. This truth is going throughout, this isn't went throughout the four corners of the earth, man. This truth has reached a place unknown to mankind. It's out there now, that vibration. Second Ezra chapter 7 verse 34, but judgment only shall remain. Truth shall stand, not lies. Because look, lying lips is but for a moment. Remember that all you false prophets out there, there's a whole lot of names that I can name. Your lying lips is but for a moment. The God of the Bible is going to eventually remove you. He's going to remove you. And we ain't going to have to ever worry about you ever again. Slandering, speaking lies and all the other nonsense. Hypocrites, man. Truth shall remain. And faith shall wax strong. And we know behind the scenes you catch a pure hell from the God of the Bible. Ain't nothing going right for you. But you still try to hold up that image. Like everything's going going well for you. We we know it ain't. Come on now. A spiritual man judges for all things. I, I mean this is my last one. But, but you can read Isaiah 30th chapter. Verse 9 and 10. Israel, you Negroes, Latinos, and they're making you love lies. You tell the prophets to speak lies to you. Y'all don't want it. Y'all don't want the truth. But that small remnant, the elect of the nation of Israel, that's all they know how to do. 
That's what the, that's the spirit of the Lord put on them, right? This is Second Thessalonians chapter two. I started verse eleven, and for this cause Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, shall send them strong delusions, that they shall believe a lie. See, Yahweh by Hashem Shai can control that mind. He can have you believe whatever he wants you to believe. All right. That's why. That's why we must fear Yahweh by Hashem Shai. Right? What, what did it say again? Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eleven, and for this cause Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, shall send them strong delusions, that they should believe a lie. Oh yeah, when they say um, the mark of the beast is an embargo, it's a spiritual mark, sleeping with a white woman, and all this other nonsense. Two thirds believe it. The Lord gave them strong delusions when they tell them. And when these false prophets tell them that it's going to be peaceful, ain't no tribulation coming. The Lord gave them strong delusions, and now they believe in a lie. All right. Then you got Israelites. Well, they've been doing it, but then you got Israelites coming back around the um, mountain when she come. That old McDonald song talking about some all Israel is black. The Lord gave them strong delusions that they will believe a lie. So forth and so on, right? So forth and so on. That they all might be damned. Who believe not the truth. So if you don't believe the truth coming out of the Bible. Coming from the service of the Lord. The head apostles and the elders of great millstone. And the men on down. You're damned. Meaning what? You're condemned already. Right? You're condemned already. That they all. That they all. The two thirds club. Might be damned. Who believe not the truth. But have pleasure in unrighteousness. So our people take pleasure. They hate the truth. But they love to take pleasure in unrighteousness. Anywhere with some nonsense said, you can find two thirds there. But just, just a quick lesson, man. I ain't gonna beat a dead horse. Just a quick lesson through the spirit of you have about Shemar Shadi. Look, that small remnant is gonna speak the truth, Israel. You know. Re remember what I read earlier. No lie is of the truth now. First John chapter two verse twenty one, no lie is of the truth. Shalom.